Good morning, everybody. We're last seen somewhere. The last place you saw us was Exeter. And today we've come back to the Cotswolds once again and we're going to take a look around the picture Pittscard village of Bybray. Row. Um, it's claimed to be the most pictured set of buildings in the whole of England and I can see why. I can see why as well. They're absolutely fantastic. It is beautiful. It's, it's a beautiful area. Yeah. Bybury is absolutely gorgeous. And I think Arlington Road is one of the main reasons that tourists come to, to Bybury. Yeah, definitely. To see it. But they were um, originally built as a wool store and then changed into weavers cottages in the 17th century. But now they're just National Trust buildings. Yeah, because it is known by the National Trust. It's known by the National yeah. Trust now, yeah, but absolutely gorgeous place. It is, it's fantastically looked after as well. It really is a beautiful area. Yeah. In the 1930s, Henry Ford actually tried buying Arlington Row. He fell in love with Bybury and wanted to take it home with him and was going to have it shipped brick by brick back to the United States. Didn't he actually do that with two other buildings though and actually manage to get them back to America? Yeah, they're still standing today. He did get two back from the Cotswolds. It was a different part of the Cotswolds though, wasn't it? It was, yeah. yeah. That's amazing that he can take a whole building back and rebuild it in another country. But he was going to take this whole row back with him. But, I'm glad uh, he didn't. No, the National <laughs> Trust stepped in and, and bought it up quick. But yeah. That's what you call collecting something, isn't it? When you collect yeah. the whole street, jeez. The piece of land in front of us is called Rack Island. It's situated right in front of Arlington Row and was once used to dry the wool off. Nowadays, it's just home to loads of wildlife. It's, it's absolutely full of birds. We've been seeing loads as we've been walking around. Pheasants and moorhens and ducks. Yeah. And it's, it's right on the river. We've actually seen sort of fishes jump out the river. Yeah, there's it's trout. Tight, yeah, trout jumping out the river. But yeah, so lovely. Bybury is an incredibly popular tourist destination. Yes, even on a very, very cold April day like today, when it's actually been snowing. It has been snowing, it's freezing today. <laughs> There's lots of people here walking around. So yeah, for how tiny the village is, it's very popular. In 1921, Emperor Hirohito visited Bybury and absolutely fell in love with the place. And ever since then, it's become an incredibly popular tourist destination for Japanese visitors. And you can see why, because it's, it's absolutely gorgeous and it's, it's very quaint. It is, it's beautiful. English village. It's, it's, Beautiful. It is stunning to see. And I didn't know before we um, become here that um, Arlington Road is actually on the inside cover of yeah, the I UK didn't know passport. That. Yeah. So yeah. But then again, I haven't seen my passport for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> no, not for a while. Oh, remember passports? Remember going on holiday abroad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
we've just left Bybury and we've travelled a few miles down the road and we've come to another lovely console village called Fairford. It is absolutely beautiful again, another absolutely stunning town yeah. in the Cotswolds. They're also beautiful, aren't they? They are so pretty. We're stood in front of St Mary's Church in Fairford. It's known to have the most complete set of stained glass windows in England. Yeah, and during World War II, all the stained glass windows were removed from 1939 to 1945 and hidden in the cellar so they wouldn't get damaged when, when the war was them. on. Yeah, because yeah, they were so, so nice. Yeah. Isn't there a myth about the windows as well? Yeah, the, the guy that built the church, or had it rebuilt, John Tame, claimed to the locals that he stole all the stained glass windows from a ship that was bound for Rome. <laughs> But it's supposed to be a real mess. Yeah, and nowadays um, the windows are actually credited to a, a Flemish glazer, I believe, yeah. who used to work for Henry the Seventh. Yeah, King Henry the Seventh. So yeah. yeah, but the the windows are actually lovely. So they're supposed to be fantastic. I'm really sorry I can't take you in to see them because yeah. Dorinda absolutely loves stained glass, and I, I, you would have loved to have gone yeah. in and seen the glass, wouldn't you? But I can see pictures, so yay. So we've just seen another two amazing places in the Cotswolds. Really beautiful. Bybury especially was so pretty. It was absolutely fantastic. And Fairford's really pretty as well. Yeah, they are like, what, like all the places in the Cotswolds, they are stunning. Yeah. And we have actually visited the Cotswolds a few times now and we've done a few videos on them. So if you'd like to watch them, check out our channel. Yeah, we do have a few videos on there of the Cotswolds. We're last seen somewhere. The last place you saw us was Bybury and Fairford. Where will we be seen next? Why not subscribe and find out? and hopefully it's somewhere warmer. <laughs>